guys, it's Liam here. Uh, today I'll be answering the question of why we classify living things by calling them, you know, reptiles, by calling them mammals, by calling them birds, by calling them whatever. Uh, well, I think there's, there's three reasons that we do that. One, so that we can make generalizations uh, in, during research and during learning. So let's say you're trying to teach a student uh, about a whale. We all, right off the bat, if they know what a mammal is and they know that a whale is a mammal, that's the that could be the only thing that they know about it. But from that, they they can just just from the statement that it is a mammal, they can that they can know so much about it. They know that they give birth. Uh, they don't lay eggs. Uh, they know that they can give milk to their child. They know that they're warm blooded. They know that uh, a bunch of different things about them that they wouldn't be able to know otherwise. Uh, secondly, so that we can uh, make assumptions on uh, how how we can uh, map their genome. Because we know that uh, in mammals, there are some genes that are always in some mammals. Uh, and if we already know that, it, it takes a lot less time to map a genome of an animal. For example, how this is relevant, uh, they're, they're one of the biggest, uh, uh, the two biggest um, genetic experimentations uh, were, 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 were where they, um, there was a farmer who wanted uh, his chickens to lay more eggs. And so he put more of the, the genes that laid eggs and it worked perfectly fine, but they had to map the genome so they knew where they could put it in and how much of it to put it in. Uh, and then the same, the same thing happened with another farmer who, who, who when they slaughtered the chickens, uh, the most valuable part was the, the chicken wings. So if they can make the chicken wings bigger, then they can make more money out of it. Uh, and, and it worked. But it would have taken a lot longer if they couldn't uh, map, the, map the genome without making assumptions, uh, which is usually a very important part of research. Uh, and uh, second, thirdly, I think uh, just so it can be more neat, if we can put uh, a bunch of species of animal into one file, it's, it's a lot easier than if they're all in just one big file. If you had a computer and you only had one file, not only would that file be so overloaded that it would probably cause problems for your computer, but also, you'd have to scroll for 10 minutes just to get to the file that you wanted to uh, get information on. So it, it makes it a lot easier and neater for scientists to, to teach and, and do research on an animal or plant. Thank you and goodbye.